recognizing the urgent need to address the persistent challenge of corruption in Uganda, which hinders development and erodes public trust in government institutions, the authorities, and members of the Uganda National Students Association, USA, in Luanda District, have come together to combat this deeply rooted issue in the country. These are learning student leaders and school administrators to actively participate in the fight against corruption. This was emphasized today during the Uganda National Students Association, USA, 34 Students Council in Rwanda District that was held at Nyorohanga High School, seeing the participation of student leaders from about 20 schools in Rwanda District. The 34th Council was centered on the theme, the role of student leaders in achieving effective and responsive leadership. While addressing the student leaders at the council, the Deputy Resident District Commissioner for Shema District Sam Evidence Olikunda underscored the importance of student engagement in the fight against corruption in Uganda. Olikunda emphasized that there exist numerous avenues through which students can contribute to addressing this challenge. One of the challenges we have in the country is corruption and unfortunately corruption affects even those who are innocent. So I think the student leaders can help us in the fight against corruption avenues that they can use. For instance, there is social media. Instead of going to social media to post their pictures and other things, they can use social media to expose some of the of these corrupt uh, officials that we have. Like for instance, the parish development model, the parish chiefs are stealing money from the public, exhorting money from the public. What has the students done to help in, in, in curbing down this problem? Further stated that the government acknowledges the existence of loopholes in enforcing and corruption laws. He emphasized that through collaborative efforts with student leaders, there will be a notable impact in the ongoing fight against corruption. There is a loophole in enforcing the law against corruption. That one we accept because there are so many people who are caught, and just a single day, someone goes to sales. I mean, goes to sell within a week, the person is out. So what they, what they complained about is true. If we get someone who has been charged with corruption, let the person be taken to court and let the person bring back what they stole. So uh, that is a loophole as government which we need to work upon. While some students expressed concern about the effectiveness of the law in addressing corruption among high-ranking government officials, citing recent examples such as the issue of Karamoja iron sheets in the country. This day's corruption in our country, Uganda, has become something that is untold. And uh, you are giving some of the ways uh, the students who will take the initiative to fight corruption. But there is one point that I did not agree with, which is the writing. Take for example, uh, we have had the incidents of the Karamoja iron sheets, whereby most of the people involved were big people in the government. And so uh, these are the people who are driving uh, cars up in the number place in the rail car and as the students. Let us be sincere. Can I write that now there is a corruption, a prime minister is taking over something, and yet it is appropriate and information that really uh, corruption could change in our country. In an interview with John Bosco Namara, the Uganda National Students Association coordinator for Rwanda District, he emphasized the need for a collaborative effort between student leaders and administrators. Namara called for the initiation of programs aimed at cultivating a mindset change towards development among students in schools. He believed that this collaborative approach can significantly influence students' growth and perspective. One of our core roles is to remind students of their role, to know that one, they are students first, and again, even while they are in leadership, they are also part of the administration. They need to help in the day-to-day -day running of the school. In terms of especially promoting discipline, and um, in promoting discipline, uh, student leaders have always helped in curbing strikes in schools. Uh, we believe that after this conference, which we have had, and the knowledge and the, uh, the leadership skills we have imparted in these student leaders, they will not go back the same as they've come. Namala stated that through the Student Leaders Council, they are actively nurturing young leaders to prepare them to effectively take on future leadership positions. As UNSA, we are trying to ensure that we nurture young leaders who will be in charge of this country uh, in just a few uh, During the last council, we registered a low turn-up. But today I'm very happy that uh, the turn-up has improved. We had almost a total of 20 schools, and uh, there are actually only five that didn't turn up due to some 
uh, reasons basically known to them especially in like financial constraints while officiating at the function the deputy director general for internal security organization iso kano imekatabazi emphasized the importance of students acquiring technical skills he says that this can be crucial for their personal and professional development in this rapid changing world Katabazi, during his address, not only emphasized the importance of combating corruption, but also led student leaders to embrace the spirit of Pan-Africanism. He urged them to recognize the interconnectedness of African nations and the significance of working together to address common challenges and promote unity across the continent. We need Tanzania. We produce four things that we can pursue. That's why we call the federation. Pan-Africans who were humiliated by slave trade, who were carried human beings, all those blacks you see in America, were carried from Africa. And came to produce what they produced the whites invested into science and technology. The square of your ancestors. In Uganda, corruption is a bigger problem, costing the country money worth 9.14 trillion per year which is almost half of the government's income in 2022. The police in Uganda are seen as the most corrupt, fought by the courts and tax services among others. Nabatinyamachi, Fortigas Television.